Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating a few apps right here on your Mac. So what we have to do is go right into your app store. Now, most of you may not have it down here. So let's just go on the top left hand side of your screen. You will see the Apple logo. So right up here, you will see this logo. So let's just click on it. And on your third option, you will see App Store. Now, for some of you who have the latest Mac OS, you will notice that some updates will be up here in under system preferences, but those are mostly for system wide. Now, if you're looking to apps, that's always going to be in the app store. So we're going to open that up. Once we open that up, we will see all these updates. Now that should be your very last option down here below. You will see your last option as updates. As you can see right here, we have WhatsApp, we have Microsoft, a bunch of Microsoft updates, including iMovie, GarageBand, and Final Cut Pro. With what we're gonna start is with WhatsApp Desktop. So what we need, just need to do for now is just press on update. We can click on more to view more info. So if you click on more for any of these, you're gonna see a message here in the middle that will tell you exactly what the improvements are. Now, some of them are very big, such as this one. It just tells you that it's about 100 megabytes. So 100 megabytes for most of you, it's gonna be just a few seconds. Some of you, yes, a few minutes. I can't really see anybody taking hours to update just 100 megabytes. But as you will see, once it's done the update, you will see this circle going all the way around and then it's just gonna say open. So down here below, it's just gonna come up here, updated recently, and we're gonna see what's up desktop and then hit open now if you guys don't see any of these updates here maybe a particular one that you're looking for maybe it's final cut pro iMovie or something like that we can always type it up here so let's just go into search let me show you so let's type in final cut pro for example and we're gonna get all these options so from here we can always click on final cut pro and on the top right hand side you will see update. So we can always update it from here as well. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this case. Let's just hit on update and it's gonna continue updating. Now let's go back into looking at all the updates that we have. So at this point, like I mentioned, we are updating Final Cut Pro. Now, if I click on more, this gives me a little bit more information about what the update does and it is 2.9 gigs. Again, that all depends on your Wi-Fi speed. It could take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. For that amount of gigs, I would say for some of you with extremely slow internet, it could take an hour if you have extremely slow internet. So as you can see, my Final Cut Pro update's almost done. So let's continue on with the next updates. Now let's switch it up to Microsoft Win. Now we do see a version update right here, 16.32. So let's just click on update. We also have Microsoft Excel. We're gonna click on update. Microsoft Word, again, update. And PowerPoint update. So all of these are version 16.32. And once again, we can view more stuff just by clicking on more. And this will tell us a little bit about the update itself and how big it is. There is a quick update as well for Microsoft Outlook. So let's just click on that update. And we're gonna see GarageBand version 10.3.4. So let's just click on update again. If you guys, once again, don't see one of these updates, you can always search for it and then just update it from there. Like I showed you with Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna update iMovie, which is version 10.1.14. Now I know when updates come out for iMovie and anything like that, the updates seem to be pretty big. So let's just click on more. And here it is. So we can see that it's 2.2 gigs, which again is a little bit big. So for some of you, again, it could be minutes and it could be seconds. It really does depend on your Wi-Fi speed. If your Wi-Fi speed is pretty slow, I do suggest hooking it up with an ethernet cable. Just hook it up directly to your router and that way it won't take hours. It'll just be a little bit faster. Wi-Fi also has some interruptions depending on your walls or anything like that. There could be interruptions just because of the Wi-Fi itself. So that ethernet cable can help a lot. Now, if you're doing a bunch of updates like I am at this point, yes, they will be slower. If you just update one at a time, it will be fast. But if you're updating like me, a bunch of them at a time, they will take a little bit longer just because each one is about 800 megabytes, 700 megabytes. Then we have those two gigs. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. But once they're done, like you guys can see up here, they will say open and we can go ahead and open these up 
because they are done and they should come down here in a second updated recently it's just about them refreshing so once they refresh they will pop out down here anyways guys that's how you update these apps if you guys have any problems any questions comments you guys can write it down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you